everyone and welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember, you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. Today, guys, we're going to take a look at just a stunning 1969 AMC AMX. Guys, this car, uh, six years ago, underwent a complete rotisserie nut and bolt restoration. Gorgeous car, one of 843, I think it is, factory 343 four-speed go-pack cars ever built. Uh, I actually sold one of these cars, I think it's a little over a year ago, but I will tell you, the restoration was nothing like this. This thing is a nut and bolt car. It's body color underneath. Um, it sounds like there's very few miles on the car. It sounds like the car is restored, and then they just didn't drive it a whole lot, which happens a lot. Uh, less than a thousand miles on this car since it was done. You see it's got BF Goodrich radio TAs all the way around it. It's got um, uh, the 15 inch Magnum 500s, Matador red with the black interior. It's got the black uh, AMX striping and nice guys. I'm telling you, when you look at the underside of this car, take this car right to the car show and put mirrors on it uh, underneath it. We, we literally just wiped it down. We didn't do anything to it. Chrome and stainless is nice. I saw one little stone peck there, blemish in your paint there. But that's just really nitpicking the car. And it's got a healthy 343 in it too. Cammed up, um, I've got, it's a balanced and blueprinted 343. I've got uh, the paperwork on the engine. And it rocks, this thing will run. Couple little marks in that rear glass. But the stainless is real nice. Little fitment, I'm gonna have my guy come down and take a look at it. A couple things. I'm gonna have my guy come down and take a look at this, see if we can get this to uh, fit a little tighter, which I'm assuming we can, just adjusting the, uh, the lock. I have never seen this. This is a factory spoiler for this car. Now, he made these, because I guess these were known to break, but I have found photos of two other cars with that. I've never seen it. Factory rear spoiler. This stuff is really nice on this car, too. The one thing about these cars, when I look at them, a lot of this trim is funky. You just can't find that stuff. Good rubber, brand new wheels. Again, when you see the underside of this car, it's beautiful. Look at the wheel wells. Pretty, pretty car, man. Front disc brakes. Slick, slick paint, guys. Dual chrome mirrors. Again, all professionally built, balanced and blueprinted, 343. Uh, four barrel, it's got an Edelbrock um, Performer uh, air gap intake on it. It's got hooker ceramic headers Power steering power disc brakes factory four-speed car Detailed up real nice underneath the hood. This is nice aluminum radiator with a custom a custom aluminum shroud How nice this car is Brake lines. Pretty, pretty car, man. Love the color. Just jumps off this car. That's for the radio. It's got a 
I don't know. I'm not a radio guy. If you've watched these videos, you know that. But uh, it's got some Pioneer uh, uh, aftermarket sound system in it. It's funny. I tell this story to people. I owned a 67 GTX for seven years. When I sold it, the guy asked me if the radio worked. I told him, I have no idea. I never turned the radio on in seven years. Just not. When I'm in an old car, I want to cruise. The nice bottom those doors are. I want to cruise and hear the engine. I've ordered new floor mats for it. They're on the way. New carpet, new sill plates. This interior is all brand new. Buckets with a buddy seat. It's got some speakers in the back. Headliners, nice. Steering wheel's real nice. One little crack there. Factory tack engages 87,947. That's the original miles on the car. Um, but he said less than a thousand since it was restored. Put some aftermarket gauges in there. Her shifter. There's your aftermarket radio. Um, it's got a great sound. An X pipe stainless Viper dual exhaust system on it. We relocated the battery to the trunk. It's all body color in here. I mean, literally, turn the key, take this car right to a car show. And it's all body color. Like you said, they put quarters on it. Um, 69 Tech Man, this is all your paper. 40, 4,500 for the engine. That's a, uh, That was done in 2015. Didn't get a whole lot of real docks with the car. It could be, really, the, this that's a brand new rubber and it's pretty doggone stiff. But I think I think we can adjust that. See if we can get it out a little bit. Look at this car underneath, man. Look at that thing. I mean, nice. Door rubbers are all new. Door pads are new. Like you say, there's not a whole lot you can really nitpick on this car. I mean, these, look how nice these are. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Shoot. There's your remote for the radio in the glove box. That's what I was talking about in the dash. It's got like some kind of Bluetooth thing. Like I say, if you're looking for instructions on radios, I tell people, take them right to your radio knobs and speakers and things. Mickey Shore we have around here. Look how nice that stainless is. Dual chrome mirrors. It sounds awesome. I mean, like I say, just hits the road great. Little cam to it, nothing crazy. Still pump gas engine. Ah, come on. Let's see if I can back in. There we go. Now, it's got that sun behind me, man. <laughs> it doesn't like to focus sometimes to that sun. Axe functional, that's rare. Gauges are functional. Parking brake works. <coughs> I think the only thing that doesn't work is the backup lights. Good rev, Jordy. That sounds outstanding, man. For music, radio, and podcasts. Okay, good old pressure. Radio works. Blower motor works. Guys, make sure you keep track of our inventory, guys. You can do that at southernmotors.com. Another great way to keep in touch with us is through our Instagram or our Facebook page. Definitely subscribe to our YouTube page, guys. You can do that by clicking the little button there at the bottom. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video, guys. Hello. 
Like I said, how it is. Pretty, pretty car.